All right, so this is just going to be a quick video uh, opening up this HP NV X360M convertible model 13M-AG0001DX. All right, so we're going to need a Torx or T5 screwdriver, and then we'll also need a PH1 or JIS1 screwdriver. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remove the two Torx um, 5 or T5 screws. So there's two down here. We're just going to remove those two. You want to keep all these screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them the flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern that I remove them. So you'll see um, there's two down here. All right. All right. The customer lost the rubber pieces already on the bottom here. Um, but normally there'd be rubber feet here covering the screws. Um, you just use little pry tools or whatever you can to get them out. I just use, I would use my fingernails. I just get underneath and then peel it out. Um, sometimes it'll leave behind the adhesive. So if that's the case, you have to peel the adhesive off as well. All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and remove the PH1 or JS1 screws. All right. So there's four along this side back here. All right. Oh, didn't snap it all back in. All right. So we're going to remove all these four. What? Oh, all right, so we're going to remove these four screws, and then after that, there's three more screws, or yeah, two more screws on the bottom here. All right, so remove these four. Okay. All right, then we're going to remove the two down here. Same thing. If this video helps you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel so that others can find these videos and they can upgrade and repair their devices. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little bit to the channel so that I can continue making these videos for a living. I actually do these repairs for a living. These are customer computers. These aren't mine. So usually by the time you see these videos, I won't actually have these computers anymore. All right, anyways, now that we've gotten all these screws out, we're going to take a suction cup. Um, if you don't have a suction cup, you can use two pieces of tape, just have them meet in the middle like this, and then you can use that as a pull tab and grab it. Alright, so anyways, we're going to use a suction cup in the middle here, and then we're going to pull up. Sometimes it won't come up, but usually you can get a weak spot where the clips will come out there, just like that, and then you can go ahead and get underneath and pull the rest out. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to go ahead and kind of work it just like that, alright? Suction cup works a lot easier than... Um, than using tape so if you don't have um, suction cup you can probably just go buy one they're pretty cheap you can get them from lots of different kinds of stores Walmart will have them wherever all right there you go so here's the bottom cover all right so this one had some motherboard damage um, I think from liquid it got like burnt here you can see this sticker um, I was having my partner actually work on it and they couldn't repair the board but anyways I just kind of wanted to show what uh, a quick look inside so we got an M.2 SATA SSD here so again this is just gonna be a quick look um, I'm probably gonna leave the SSD out here so that my customer can get their data out of it later but anyways there's just one screw holding the SSD in place remove that screw and then once you do that It'll pop up and then you can grab this and pull it out. All right, so just like that, we're gonna take that out. Again, there's an M.2 SATA SSD. I don't know if this laptop supports PCIe NVMe, um, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. If you wanna experiment, you can go ahead and do that, but we're not gonna mess around with that. All right, so we got the battery connector here. So the battery connector comes out, you just have these wings here. I just use my fingernails to wiggle and pull that back. Usually if you're going to work on stuff on the motherboard, especially the LCD and LVDS connectors here for the screen, you want to remove the battery and after you disconnect the battery, open up the screen or the computer and then press and hold the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, and that way it makes it a lot safer to work on. If you don't do that and you try and work on the screen connection, um, there's a good chance that you will actually fry your motherboard or the backlight circuit, okay? So we're just going to reconnect the battery here. There we go. All right, I'm not gonna pull everything out here. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick look again. So you got the speaker connector here and that connects both speakers. Let me actually zoom out. So that connects the speaker here and then the speaker cable runs across and connects to this speaker. The battery model, if you need it, is KC04XL. Hopefully you can see that. 
all right, KC04XL. And then you got these uh, HP spare part number L08496-855. Let me see if I can hold this in a way you can see it. There you go. All right, that's the HP spare part number. All right, the RAM is soldered to the board, most likely underneath this metal cover. I'm guessing this is the trackpad connector, keyboard connector, keyboard backlight connector, and then I'm not sure what this other small connector is for. Um, I think it's for the SD card reader that's down here. Um, I'm not going to pull out the battery. I'm just doing a quick look inside. All right, then you got these two connectors, most likely ones for um, camera, maybe touch screen, and then the others for the screen. I'm not sure which one is which. Hunger Games cable. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm guessing this is for the touchscreen and this is probably for the LCD, but I'm just guessing. All right, then you got another connector here for the two speakers up here. All right, there's two speakers there. And you got the fan here. All right, and you got, oh, I didn't mention the wireless card here. And then you got the DC jack or charge port connector here. So that goes underneath the motherboard. Um, you can probably remove this without taking the whole computer apart, um, but you'd have to remove the hinge here. All right, but anyways, that's the end of this quick review or quick quick look inside. Um, the the touchpad and stuff is removable as well. There are this removable plate and stuff, but um, yeah. Anyways, that's all we're going to see. I'm not going to do a complete disassembly, so let's go ahead and put this back. Alright, just get it all lined up, and then click this all back into place. Alright, again, if this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others. If you're trying to figure out how to clone the hard drive to a new SSD or a larger SSD, I have a video for that. Um, just go to my playlist in the general, um, general playlist, or general computer repairs and you'll find how to do a clone and all this other stuff. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and put back these screws, but that's pretty much all there is to this. So again, like, subscribe, share my channel, and if it helps you save a bunch of money, please, again, consider contributing a little to my channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And yep, thanks for watching. You're welcome to stay while I put back the rest of the screws. But other than that, um, that's all there is. All right, so we'll get all these screws back in. Don't forget these two and the two T5 or Torx 5 screws. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, last two screws. Come in. The screws, these two screws are a little bit weird to put back because they go in at an angle. But, um, yep. All right, see y'all later. Let's drop this spike.